uh, when it comes to when it comes to uh, fair play, uh, as as you campaign uh, towards the elections, how much are you covered as the opposition in your state broadcaster? Can I just tell you this, my dear brother, that you know I have not appeared on uh, the equivalent of the Zambia Broadcasting uh, Television, mm -hmm. which is ZBC, and we only have one television station, by the way, in Zimbabwe. There is no independent television station. There is only one television station since independence. Something that is bizarre and un un unheard of. But on that television station, I, as a leader of the alternative, during the election campaign, I was never interviewed once. I never appeared on that television once. The only time I, I appear there is when they are accusing me of something. And I appear there, my mouth will just be uh, moving, but I am not allowed to say anything. And they will be doing, uh, you know, they will be the spokespersons to say, uh, you are saying this, but you know, it can't, you know, even lie. So you find that I've not been on this television station I think for close to about seven or so years now. Uh, maybe I, I last appeared when I was a member of parliament, uh, you know, way back. Uh, so, so, so it's a big issue. Uh, there, there is no coverage. But you know what? With all that kind of blackout, mm -hmm. we are still standing. We are very active and very live. Uh, yeah, in broadcasting in the hearts and minds of the people of Zimbabwe. That's why, you know, we are unshakable, unbreakable, and we continue to be very strong. What are some of the ways you're using to get your message to, to the people out there? Well, we really are using uh, what I would call community-based communication yes. uh, through our structures. But more importantly, we also use the social media. Uh, it is a very useful platform. Uh, WhatsApp, you know, and um, you know, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter. We try to reach out to people so so that even this. Uh, ostracization does not affect us because what they would want uh, is to speak on our behalf and say, "I know these ones are dead and buried." Yes. Uh, you know, and and when they when we appear in communities, they'll be saying, "No, they are trying to resurrect," uh, but you know, we have already killed them. Mm -hmm. You know, you can see the deployment that has been uh, against us. Our senior leaders being charged, uh, you know, uh, on account of various charges, being drawn to court persecution you know of our leaders uh, through prosecution we have also seen uh, you know weaponization of the law and lately we've been seeing weaponization of covid you know covid has become a weapon for most dictators they always hide behind covid but they will be doing things on their own but they say i know covid doesn't allow this you can't do this because of covid so you can actually see that covid has become a key instrument and weapon of most of these dictators I will, I, will, I will tell you this here now, uh, <clears throat> Mr. President, that uh, you know you can get in touch with us anytime. We 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 would cover you anytime. <laughs> uh, and I also just want to encourage you that um, the president elect, your friend, uh, Hagai Nation, was yes. going, has gone through what you are going through for years. Um, Indeed. Everything you have said, I was just like H H H H. Yeah. But look, H H was actually called the president of Facebook. And then he was, <laughs> and he was actually told, that's what, he was told. That's, that's what they also call me. That's also, what they also call me. You are also well, president of Twitter. We are told you are called president of Twitter. Yes, yes, yes. And I love it because I say, at least you acknowledge that I'm a president somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but look at, look at, look at him now. Like he, he used, he used that to his advantage, and he went all out. And this is 2021. Almost everyone is on social media. The message goes out there. So even if they don't allow you to go on national broadcaster, you'll still be able to send out your message successfully out there. Indeed, sir. Indeed, I, 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 I totally agree. In fact, that's why I said, you know, we always try to continue to um, get our message out there on account of uh, other platforms. And also even some of the interviews like this one, I hope that they will get to Africa. They will also get to Zimbabweans. Uh, the, whole, because... the whole world will listen to this interview, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And we appreciate it because you are actually aiding and supporting, abating the strengthening of institutions that advance democracy. You know, media is, a, is the oxygen of society. The media is the oxygen of development, the oxygen of nations. So communication is very important. Information is very important. And we thank you for what you are doing as a practitioner. You are helping to strengthen the new Africa, the new vision for our African continent. 
So I would like to thank you so much for making time for us um, this morning. Of course, we wish you all the best as you go to, uh, you know, as we go to uh, inaugurate uh, the UPND leader, Hagai Nation and Mother Zambia's seventh Republican president. We are so happy. We thank you, Zambia. We thank you, Africa. Let's all do what is necessary to support these important initiatives. And God bless Africa. God bless Zambia. One Zambia, one nation, but one Africa too. Thank you. Have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you. Have yourself a nice one. That is uh, Zimbabwe's uh, Opposition mo uh, Movement for Democratic Change, MDC, Alliance leader Nelson Chamisa. And of course, he's actually here um, to witness the inauguration of, uh, you know, UPND leader Aga Inde Ichilema as Zambia's seventh Republican president during uh, a ceremony at Heroes Stadium. So, yes, let's go out there in numbers. And of course,